Lawmakers could head to conference committee as early as this week for Alabama's gambling bills. The committee gives three representatives and three senators the chance to come to a compromise. Good evening. I'm Brenda Ledun. And I'm Stephen Quinn. ABC 3340's Aaron Wise has been following the progress of this bill since it was first introduced. Aaron, I understand it could take weeks to know the ultimate fate of this legislation. Stephen, Tuesday is the 20th legislative day of this session. Lawmakers can continue to meet until mid-May. The Senate did not announce their three members for conference committee, but the senator who carried House Bills 151 and 152 in the Senate doesn't expect conference committee to conclude quickly, and it could be an uphill battle to come to a compromise. From the way things developed on the floor, um, I just don't know that there's going to be a lot of room to uh, negotiate. Senator Greg Albritton says there's no quick fix for House Bills 151 and 152 in conference committee. The differences between the House version and the Senate version are way too great. The House has already expressed some of their goals during committee, like getting $300 million in projected revenue from a state lottery back to being solely for education. Speaker of the House Nathaniel Ledbetter pointed to programs in surrounding states. Tennessee promised last year was over $450 million out of the lottery and over 147,000 kids benefited from that. What are we thinking? In Albritton's opinion, the money should go to the areas where the state is most in need. And one of the reasons we process this and one reason I'm behind this um, gaming matter is because that may give us re new revenue that we can deal with real issues, real problems that we have. Mental health is being one of the major issues. Uh, the construction projects we have ongoing, those funding and overruns there are a concern. In early March, Albritton was vocal on the Senate floor about using gambling revenue for new prisons. The Senate took sports betting out of their substitute. The House wants to at least discuss it again. It could be a deal breaker for some senators, which is something the committee has to consider. Any changes to the bills would have to go back to the full House and Senate for another vote. We've got to find a way to uh, get 60 percent of the votes out of both houses uh, to make something work. That's that's an uphill battle. Albritton says the most important goal is producing legislation that will help the state. He has concerns the version the Senate passed doesn't do that. Although unsure about the path forward, Albritton says they have to try. Brenda.